Hi guys, in this clip we are going to review the four stick skills needed to play lacrosse. Our passing, catching, scooping, and cradling. Let's dive right into it. First, we're going to talk about passing. When it comes to passing, let's first talk about our hand placement. We're going to put our dominant hand right in the middle of the stick and our other hand right on the bottom. From there, I'm going to use the rebounder to demonstrate. We're going to point, push, and pull. We're going to point our butt end and point our elbow. All right, now we're going to push-pull to release the ball. As we get that push-pull motion, just like any other sport, similar to football, similar to throwing a baseball, we're going to step with our opposite foot, and as soon as we plant, we snap that ball out of there. Next, we're going to talk about catching the ball. Again, hand placement. We're going to take our dominant hand and slide it up to the plastic of the head. We're gonna take our off hand and put it on the butt end of the stick here. Now from here, we need to present a target to our teammate. So that target is getting the stick vertical. We have an imaginary box by our ear and our shoulder. Notice the stick is not in front of my face. It's in the box. Now from here, I like teaching my kids to think of the ball as a water balloon or an egg, and we have to give with it so we don't break that water balloon or that egg. Now as we cushion that ball, that ball is not bouncing off our plastic and falling onto the grass. Um, one more thing, we're not at the hip, right? We're up vertical again. The face shape of the stick is facing my partner. I'm not going to twist that at, at all. That's going to help me get that give action there. We're going to use the rebounder again to demonstrate a couple reps here. Now we have scooping. We're going to miss the ball every once in a while, but we're going to go chase it down and learn the skill of scooping it up. Again, hand placement, hand up at the plastic, bottom hand at the very bottom of the stick. This helps our hand-eye coordination and connecting that scoop a little bit better. We're going to plant our dominant foot next to the ball, get the stick low and our own body low. I'm bending at the knees so my body's low. You see a lot of kids try and scoop where they're picking at it. They got to get the butt end of the stick low so now I can get under the ball and scoop through it. Now we're going to go over cradling. Cradling is very important to keep the ball in the pocket of the stick. As we cradle here, that force is throwing it back to the mesh or the netting that makes up the pocket. You notice my elbow is moving back and forth, but also I have a loose wrist. As I come down, my wrist is opening up. As I come up, my wrist is closing, and that's what gets that rocking motion. So if we miss a pass, it's okay, we're going to go scoop it up, then as we run it back, we're going to work on the cradle to secure the ball. Again, uh, hand at the plastic, that's going to help with our control of the ball and keep it in there.